everybody, it's Lisa. I want to do a empties video for you. Um, let me try to get comfortable. I have a big candles empties that I need to film. And like I said, I didn't have no more room, so I need to film this. Why, it's just me and my husband here. His daughter is out right now with the two kids. So, I said, I'm going to try to film something really fast. And I'm hoping I got this phone tripod thing that my phone's on. I hope I have it pretty much even, I think. So, I do have some Yankee candles. And I do, obviously, have Bath Body Works candles. Um, let's do the Yankee candles because I see they'll on top first okay this is the uh, L-U-A-U party Lula party from Yankee Candles this was a nice smell um but it's a one wick candle and I noticed when I burn the one wick candles from Yankee Candles it really doesn't have a good throw they're nice um, when you have a couple of them lit together like this one was the sunset on the beach. I believe this was my daughter's candle. Or it could have been mine. I don't know. It says TJ Maxx on it. I don't remember. Um, I would have like a couple of them lit. Because um, I was trying to burn them down. And I mean, it smells nice. But if you have just one of the Yankee candles with one wick lit. It doesn't really give a good throw. I have noticed that. I also have um, Autumn in the Park. I did like this one. This one I did buy. And I would light this one with maybe one of the other ones or something. And it, it smelled good. But like I said, the one wick candles in these jars, to me, I have not found one that has a good throw. And that I can smell it throughout the house or smell it in the room that I have it in. I don't have to be right up on it to smell it. Um, so I'm not a big fan of these big jar candles from Yankee Candles. Um, I think I have a couple more that I need to burn. And then I probably won't get any more of the big jar ones. Because like I said, I'm not a big fan of them. They just don't have a good throw. Uh, this one was a nice candle. Kiwi Berry. I believe this was my daughter's. This is a two- Wick. I don't know why. It's in almost all of the Yankee candles I get that I burn. They have burned around them. They're black around it. This one, this was nice. Um, it did have a better throw than the one wick ones in the jar. So I don't mind getting the two wick like this one. Um, like I said, this one had a better throw to it. It smelled good. I was able to smell it in there the room, the area where I had it. Um, but I couldn't like smell throughout the house, no. But where I had it, I didn't have to be right up on it to smell it. So that's good. This one I got a couple years ago and I can't, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. I'll hold it up for y'all. This was all right. Um, it had a little nice of a throw. I mean, like I said, if I had it in one room, if I walk by, I can sometimes get a whiff of it. Um, not something that I would think I would repurchase. I didn't find that it had a really good, good throw. Um, but it did have a nice one. Better than the, the jar one wick ones. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase. I might, might not, you know. I got plenty of candles. It ain't like I'm going to be running out of candles anytime soon. Soon. My all-time favorite, I burnt this sucker. I bought this sucker this summer, and I burned it this summer. It's the Coconut Beach. It is, excuse me, it is a Yankee Candles that I got. It is a three-wick candle, um, and it smelled awesome. I light this candle, and you can smell it in the room that it's in. And then in the next room, it all depends on where I had it. Uh, I would put this on the 
kitchen table, a little dining room table, and it, I could smell it in the living room, and the dining room, and a little bit in the kitchen too. Uh, so it had a good throw. I love the coconut beach candles. I love the smell. I will definitely repurchase another one for the summertime because I do love this smell. I don't know what it is with coconut. And I did like the three wick candles. I have another one, maybe two more of the three wick candles, but they're more summer scent. So I had them put away. And then when summer comes, I'll, I'll pull them out. But I got this one at Bath, Bed and Beyond. Um, they were having their three wick candles. They had a sale on them. I did a haul. I'm pretty sure I uploaded it. Um, if y'all want to check it out. I don't know how to insert it or put it in. I, I have no idea how to do that. But I did do a haul on it. Um, I don't remember if I filmed it or not. I'm sorry, but this is a good candle. I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, so then I have some little candles. Um, this is one of my daughter's candle. I don't know where she got this. Not a very good candle. It burned. It This is plastic. And as you can see, it melted. Yeah. Um, like I said, it was one of hers. I don't know where we got it at. Then I have a sweet strawberry. That one burned good. It has all right smell. I mean, you really can't get a lot out of these little one week, one wick candles. Um, it was nice. I do like sweet strawberries. I like the smell of fruit. So, I think that is it of my Yankee candles. Now let's go into the Bath Body Works candles. I have a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow that I believe I bought this last year, year, be year before, I don't remember. Um, as you see, there's plenty left in this candle. It burnt, <clears throat> it burned terrible. Um, it smelled good. I love the smell. I love vanilla pumpkin marshmallows. But as you can see, it did not burn good. And I don't think it was that old. But it could have been because it had $22.50 on it. It might have been back when I bought these. Um, this one's a new one. This one's $24.50. So I could have had it for a couple of years. But even some of the candles I've had for a couple of years burnt better than this one. I don't know what happened to it. It just... It burnt terrible. It just got to the point it was a waste of my time. And I just stopped. I'm like, you know, it's just time to give up and get rid of it. So, that's my plan. This one will be going by ice. Um, I finally did use my Twisted Peppermint that I've had probably three years, maybe more. I don't remember. Uh, it was back when the candles were $22.50. But now they're $24.50. It was all right. Um... I'm not a big fan of the Twisted Peppermint scent. Um, I won't be repurchasing this candle. It did have a nice throw. I just, I'm not a big fan of Twisted Peppermint. Uh, my favorite is, that I have is the Fresh Sparkling Snow. I do have a backup of this candle. And that would be for next year. I might even get one more light out of this candle. But since it's almost done, I went ahead Want to go ahead and film it as empty because once I'm finished with this candle and finish with this one because I might be able to get one more light out of this one too, um, I will be taking them to the trash dump and recycling them. I do recycle my candles. Um, yes, I put them in the recycling bin for glass and stuff. So this one is definitely a good candle. Have a backup. It has a berry fruity kind of smell that I love. Yes, definitely love that candle. Okay, so now let's get into the other autumn part. Um, Y'all remember, I got this, I think, last year, 2017, I think, or 2016, I don't remember, when they were having a candle sale. I bought the bag so I can put my candles in it. Okay, I have a Radiant, I believe that's what this is, Radiant. Red Maple. This candle. Oh my god. This one burned and smelled so great. I've had this candle for some time because this is a 2250 candle. 
I let this one to fall. Um, it just smelled really good. I like this candle, and I was tempted to buy another one. I don't remember if I've seen one. I don't remember. If I see one, I might purchase one. It has, I don't know, this, this smell, it's just, it smells really good. Oh, apples. I think that's what I'm smelling. It's like apples, and it has that smoky wood and a hint of marshmallow. So, I think that's it. Yeah. Smells wonderful. Definitely, probably purchase it. Then this one, Hello Sugar, is a new one that I bought. No, it's not. It's supposed to be $22.50. Um... But I did do a haul on this. It's, it's a newer one that I purchased. This one smells like the apple pie. Oh my god. It smells 100% like um, bacon and apple pie. It smells good. And I did buy this in 2018. And I remember doing a haul saying that I will be uh, lighting this up during the holidays. So people think that I am bacon when I'm not. Yeah, I did. I lit, I lit that sucker up, and it smelled good. It smelled like an apple pie was cooking, and I'm like, mm-hmm, that's my candle. I said, I got no time to make no damn pies. <laughs> anyway, this one was a favorite. This is my cinnamon caramel swirl. I've had this candle for some time. It's an old one, an old one, because it was $22.50. I finally lit it this year. It burned, yeah. Not the greatest, but it did burn. This one I loved. I really liked this candle, and I've already purchased another one for next year. I'm not burning it. I mean, I have it out in my living room, but I'm not going to burn it until next year because I burnt this one already this year. It smelled good. I even had wallflowers of this. It smelled really good. I have incense one in my car. Uh, for your radiator, not your radiator, your vents. I have a vent one in my car. And when I turn on my vents, or the heat, I get the smell. It just smells good. You don't really get an overpowering of cinnamon. You smell more of the caramel, which I like. This smells good. I already have a backup of it for next year. We're almost done, guys. All right, this is the mahogany, I believe, coconut. This was also a nice candle. This also burnt really good. It kind of reminds me of a man's cologne. Because I don't really smell that much of the coconut, but I do smell, I'm, I guess it's the mahogany. Um, I like it. I really do like this um, this um, candle. It says ma mahogany, it's uh, coconut, and lavender, fresh lavender. I don't smell no lavender. I smell nothing but the mahogany. It's a good candle and I don't know if I have a backup of this one or not. I to tell you the truth, I kind of forgot that I uh that I already lit it. So two more. We're almost done. Alright, this one, my favorite peach bellini. Love this candle. It smells good. It smells just like peaches. Yes, definitely have a nice smell. Throws great. All of Bath Body Works candles, I've never had any problem with all the three wick candles. All have a great throw. This one I would definitely repurchase, and I think I have. I don't know, I have to go through my, my candles and find out. This is an all-time favorite. We'll always get that candle. Last but not least, we have the Eucalyptus Mint. This, like I said, it's mint. Smells like eucalyptus mint. It is a strong candle. Um, you need a big room for it. I would put this on and eventually it would start giving me a slight headache because it's really strong mint and I would have to blow it out. So it took a little time for me to use it. And this was the old price of $22.50. Yep, it took a little time and I did not repurchase this. It's just a little over powering with the mint and stuff. Um, like I said, when I would when I would um put it, you know, light it up, after a while I would have to blow it out because it was too strong. And that might be because it has a notes it says note of jasmine in it and I think that's why maybe it's too strong. 
but it's also got the mid, so it's just a little, it was a little too much for me, but it is nice. I mean, you have to have it in a big area because it's so strong. Okay, guys, that's it. That is my empties for my Yankee candles and my Bath Body Works candles. Um, I will get this up as soon as I can. I do also want to do a favorites video for 2018. I just need to get everything together and have some time where I'm home alone to film it for you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. i got to go check and see how my husband's doing. Y'all have yourself a uh, good day and have a good night. I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye-bye.